The GG copy memory function is used in the Game Guardian scripting environment to copy a block of memory from one location to another. This is particularly useful in memory manipulation for games, where you might want to duplicate data, patch values, or perform other operations. Imagine you have a book and you want to copy a section of it to another place. Source Start would be the first page of the section you are copying. Source End would be the last page of that section. Desk Start would be the page number where you want to paste that copied section in another book. Let us go through the example script step by step to understand its functionality. The variable size is assigned to the size of the memory block you want to copy. This means it determines how much data in bytes will be copied from the source to the destination. The variable desk start is assigned to the starting address where the memory will be copied. This indicates the location in memory where the copied data will be placed. GG search number searches the memory for the value 100 with a data type of D word indicated by 4. GG get results retrieves up to 10 memory addresses where the value 100 was found. Hashtag results expression returns the number of elements in the results table. In this case, it is checking how many memory addresses were found by the GG search number function. If hashtag results equal to zero then, this condition checks if the results table is empty, meaning no memory addresses matched the search criteria. If the condition is true, it displays an alert message to inform the user. Return exits the function or script, preventing any further actions since there's no valid data to work with. Source Start This variable is assigned to the value of the first memory address found. Results with index 1. This refers to the first element in the results table. Results with index 1 address. This accesses the address field of the first result. GG get values, this function retrieves the value stored at the source start address with a data type of D word. The data is stored in a table. Source check with index 1 value accesses the value of the first entry in the source check table, which corresponds to the memory address you retrieved. Source check with index 1 value, it is equal to 0 then. This checks whether the value at the source start address is 0. 
If it is zero, it implies that the address might be invalid, inaccessible, or simply not holding the expected data. If the check fails, the script alerts the user and stops further execution. Results, it is a table containing the results of the memory search. Each entry in this table is itself a table containing fields like address. Source check, it is a table returned by ggget values containing the value at the specified memory address. The function expects and returns tables, making it a flexible way to handle multiple memory addresses and their values. GG set values writes a value to a specified memory address. The argument passed to this function it is a table containing another table. The inner table specifies the memory address where the value will be written. Desk start is the variable holding this address. Flags indicates the data type. In this case, for represents a D word, which is a 4 byte integer. Value assigned to 12345 is the actual value that you want to write to the specified memory address. Verify test write. It is a table that stores the result of the ggGetValues function, which reads the value from a specific memory address. Verify test write with index 1. Access is the first and only entry in this table. Verify test write with index 1 value retrieves the actual value stored at the memory address desk start, which was read from memory. The if condition checks whether the value read from the memory address is not equal to 12345. If the value does not match, it means the write operation earlier did not succeed. If the condition is true, this line triggers an alert message. The message informs the user that the script failed to write the value to the destination address. After displaying the alert, the return statement immediately exits the current function or script. This ensures that no further code is executed, as the failure to write to the memory address is considered a critical error. The ggCopyMemory function copies a block of memory from the address specified by source start to the address specified by source start plus size. The size of the memory block copied is size bytes, where size is the difference between source end and source start. In this case, source end is calculated as source start plus size. The copied data is written to the memory address starting at desk start. Dest verify holds the result, which is a table containing the value read from the destination address. 
Dest verify with index 1 value accesses the value read from the destination address. If true, it indicates that the value at the destination address is zero. This might mean that the copy operation failed and no valid data was written. An alert is shown to notify the user that the destination address contains invalid data. If false, it means the value at the destination address is non-zero, implying that the copy operation was successful. An alert is displayed confirming the successful memory copy and shows the actual value at the destination address. Ensuring the integrity of the copy data is crucial for effective memory management and debugging. By understanding and implementing these techniques, you can efficiently handle memory operations and ensure that data is accurately transferred and validated in your scripts.